your internet home. Okay. And for today's video, Mall Curls, this is gonna be part two of the best of 2022 series. This is gonna be makeup and skincare. And also, Mall Curls, heads up lang pala, kasi I forgot to mention this since the previous vlog is the best of dito. If I have some products that I haven't mentioned, like, oh, didn't she like this before in 2022? Bakit hindi niya mention ngayon? Yung mga products that I mentioned ko dito, if I've used it before and mentioned it before and I haven't mentioned it here, it means I am not bringing it on 2023. Like, literally, the ones that I'm gonna mention here are products na legit makeup and skincare. I'm gonna bring to 2023. And as a matter of fact, towards the end of 2022, I've been using more consistently. Ganon. So, yan yung mga girls. So, these are gonna be the makeup products and skincare na nakakashikip. Para pagdating sa 2023, mashikip ka kasi that's the only thing we need, babes. Walang luluwag. Ang luluwag lang yung budget mo, girls, sa shopping. Ganon. And of course, mga girls, in case you're new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe down below. Hit that bell notification icon so you're always notified. And lastly, mga girls, I'll be leaving all my social media links over here. So, without further ado, mga girls, Let's get started! Start off first with makeup and oh my gosh, Marcus, can I just be honest? This is gonna be something like holy shit, like oh my god. I never talked about this before, but around April of 2022, I was seriously depressed. And to the point I actually started to not like makeup. I know. As a beauty guru, as a lifestyle influencer, as a influencer that has recommendations of makeup, I started to resent it. I don't know why. I get going through a breakup and shit. So, yun, I started to hate makeup. Kinda sad, I know. Imagine, no wawalan ka ng for your passion. Fucking worst feeling ever. But alam nyo, if there's one thing I also learned in 2022 is, it's temporary, man. Maybe you, if you're watching right now, this 2023, you started off 2023 feeling like shit. You know what I mean? And you don't feel like living or you're not motivated or inspired. Trust me, it's temporary. Literally, imagine this is my job and I started to resent it. That is horrible. But here we are. It's January 2023 and I'm still alive. I'm better than ever actually. If anything, I'm stronger than ever. So you know, lesson to be learned. Everything is temporary. Whether you're in a good place or in a bad place, it's temporary. So if you're in a bad place, learn lessons from it. If you're in a good place, have gratitude from it. Wow, who the fuck is she? Okay, girl, she be getting wise every day, babe. Share ko lang around April of 2022, medyo I resented makeup. But actually, marami pala ako makeup. Especially around July, I started to love makeup and I'm starting to get better and heal. These are the makeups and skincare that I would recommend. I'm gonna start off first with face, like foundations, concealers. Actually, if I'm gonna be 100% honest, wala akong primer. Vice Cosmetics Aqua Grip pwede, pero it doesn't work for any foundation except this. But primer, no. No primer. So moving on my curls, I have here foundation. This is one of the first foundations I love. This is Drugstore. This is the Vice Cosmetics Gene Focus Foundation. Oh my god, one of the best foundations ever this year. Full coverage. It lasts so long. Sobra affordable. I use this in Singapore in a hookup and my makeup stayed on. So good. I love it. The shade range is beautiful. A lot of people will be complaining, oh my god, it's not enough. Shut the fuck up, okay? As if you're gonna buy the darkest shade, babe. Y'all wanna be light, okay? At least you can mix the shades if you need to add more, right? Stop with this performative act. Like, sometimes, this 2023, y'all need to be fucking honest with yourself, okay? Because some of y'all are just doing this like a performance act, okay? So shut the fuck up. So moving on, I have two products from Happy Skin. This is the Happy Skin Tinted Moisturizer. I used the shade Golden Beige, and then I used their BB Cushion. These are two products. Early 2022, pag nagmamadali ako, I just slap it on and then just like, like put concealer and lipstick and I'm good babes. These two were like my ride or die. I get the shade golden beige and the BB cushion and the tinted moisturizer. Sobrang ganda. Pero alam nyo, those days when I was using these, that was my sad days. Those were the days na yun nga, I resented makeup. So this was my attempt to like wear something lighter. Not wear a lot of makeup. But I realized, fuck that shit. I love makeup. Fuck the breakup and fuck the bare minimum. So yeah, these are my go-to. If you're like looking for a good BB cushion, happy skin never fails. 
failed me talaga. Laneige is good, but it's expensive. Pero you can get this Happy Skin Chaka Tinted Moisturizer. This feels like nothing though. If you're gonna go to the beach or something, this feels super light to skin. I really love these two. Then last drugstore I have na local. This is Sunny's Face. This is their Skin So Good. Alam nyo, I remember trying this and then at first when I saw this, I was like, you know what? I feel it. I'm gonna hate it. This is gonna flop on me. But lo and behold, this is my I'm on the go face makeup. Like, parang kunyari, nagmamadali ako. We only have like 10 minutes. Get ready now. Okay, babes. Put that on. Rub it on. Blend it out. I have no time. Just put it on. You're good. I always have this in makeup bag ko. Despite me having foundation, I will still bring this kasi pag may mga times na bigla ang lakad and I just have to put together, I always bring this. This is in the shade Gobi. I use the shade Gobi. Sobrang ganda. It's a medium coverage but sobrang light to skin. I was expecting nga na it's literally gonna do nothing for your skin. Alam mo yung parang glossy skin tint? I was expecting it's gonna do something like that na napaka wala ka kwenta kwenta but oh my god. I was so wrong about this. If you guys are looking for like from fresh lang, I'm on the go. I wanted to be put together and makeup that's undetectable get Sunny's face. Skin so good. Sobrang ganda. Moving on to the next foundations I have here. These are two high-end foundations that I absolutely love, bitch. Okay. First, this is one I love. This is the House Labs by Lady Gaga. This is their Triclone Skin Tech Foundation. This is in the shade Medium Cool. Sobrang ganda nito. I really, really love this. It just looks like skin. Sobrang long-lasting. Pumunta ka kami sa ano, Head in the Clouds. This is my foundation. Fuck. 11 a.m. hanggang kay Joji. 12 midnight. Oh my god, my makeup, hanggang sa pag-uwi, is still on. Hindi po, I was so tired. Ang ginawa ko, nagbihis ako, natulog ako diretso. Hindi ako nakilamas. Pagkagising ko, I still have my makeup on. Parang wala lang yari, girl. How was that happen? Where were you when I was traveling on a beach, bitch? Okay? Sobrang ganda neto. If you're looking for a foundation that looks like skin and it lasts so long, full coverage, pero hindi pa siya mukhang makeup, get this. Sobrang ganda. Second, this is my top foundation out of all of them. This goes first place, which is unexpected for me kasi I was expecting Lady Gaga will be the first place. Bitch. This is the NARS Light Reflecting Foundation. Nag viral to eh, mga early 2022. Pero I didn't got it. Kasi I was like, yung like I've said, para I resented makeup. I started to hate makeup. Para I was like, not in the mood to do makeup. Also, one thing, the reason why I don't buy foundation internationally, kasi hindi ko na sa swatch. So sayang ko nyari hindi ko makuha yung shade ko. So I was in Sephora, sa Singapore, and then I was swatching itong NARS. I finally got my shade. This is in the shade Aruba. I'm actually wearing it right now. Sobrang sakto sakto niya. It lasts so long. It looks like skin. So Sobrang ganda ng coverage. Basta nakaka-fresh lang siya. Tapos one time, I was getting my Botox done kasi magpaparitouch ako. Si yung esthetician, tinatanggal niya yung foundation. Hirap na hirap siya tanggalin. Sabi, sobrang makapit yung foundation mo, no? And I was like, yeah, I'm sorry. Kasi I was on a date prior to getting Botox. Yeah. You know, just being a hoe. So yun, I swear, I get the hype. Which I'm so late to it, actually. One of the best foundations sa 2022, this NARS Light Reflecting Foundation. Honestly, this is all you need. I will definitely use this in the future. Every event, every lakad. This used to be my go-to foundation. But now, since this came along, this is so good. Alright, mga girls. Pagdating sa concealer, AZ Co. Two years in a row. I'm sorry, man. There's no other better concealers out there for me at the moment that I'm interested to try. Alam nyo, right now, AZ Co. is still my top concealer. I use the shade YM3. This is their new shade. I usually use this. Then my color corrector is the PT4. Yung AZ Co. Pero, nawawala yung color corrector ko. So, AZ Co. if you're watching, baka naman. <laughs> I really love the concealer in Asian Co. Wala pa akong concealer na I would like really, really fall in love. It's just Asian Co. Second concealer I would recommend. This is the Ever Belena Wide Awake Concealer. This is really good though. Okay siya. But would I compare it to Asian Co? No. But is it a good concealer? Absolutely. Yes. And then pagdating sa color corrector, I also use Get Ready With Me Radiant Tint Medium Peach. I use the medium peach one. Yes. At saka kunyari problema niyo pag nagsaset kayo ng makeup, ng powder, nag-gray yung under eyes niyo. Use a color Color corrector, life changing. I wish I knew sooner, which I knew sooner, but I was in denial. Like, I'm like, oh, I don't need it. Oh my god. But now I finally learned to accept it. Like, shut the fuck up, color correct before you put your concealer. And also, my curls, pag the sa base, I almost forgot this. This is Ever Belena's Fearless Serum Foundation. Actually, ito versus yung skin tint na Maybelline. Must prefer ko to. I even used this in Singapore. Grabe, sobrang fresh ko nung nagpunta kami ng Universal, nagpunta kami sa Gardens by the Bay. Cute foundation that's affordable and good for every day, use this. This is in the shade Warm Honey, by the way. Alright, Malka. So, moving on to powders. 2023 will be the year that I will say, fuck 
setting powders, okay? I'm over it, babe. Is it just me? No matter how hard I try, depending lang siguro sa brand, pero if I try other brands, then it just look dry. Makalat siya sa makeup table because it flies everywhere. It makes your makeup counter so dusty and dirty. It's messy and then you just sneeze because it's like flying out on the air. You know what I mean? So, I'm over it. Setting powders? We're leaving them in 2022, babes. This should not be a thing, you know? Drag queens? Sure, you can use that, but like for everyday use, I just want to be a typical girly using her feminine energy to ride in a Lamborghini, get a Ferrari, or I don't know, someone should buy me a Cartier or Tiffany & Co. vibe. I don't want to bake, babes. I just want to set my makeup. So there's only two powders this 2023 you need. Fuck all the powders, okay? If you want to recommend a powder, it's a fucking scam. You don't need other powders, babes. Okay, you don't motherfucking need it. First powder I would recommend is Get Ready With Me's powder. Miss May Layug. She fucking gets it. This is in the shade Maple. It's not too dark. It's not too light. Sakto lang siya sa skin ko. Despite it being a powder. It's medium to full coverage. It sets my makeup. It makes my makeup last so long. It makes me poreless. What could I ask for? And it's the powder that doesn't make you dry. Kasi my pet peeve is you lay on your foundation. You lay on your concealer. Sobrang ganda ng basement. It's like shiny, dewy, full coverage. Coverage, you look fresh, fresh out of your mom's womb, and then you set it. And then it ages you 50 fucking years. You know what I mean? Like when it makes you look old. No, not the vibe we're going for. We're trying to look fresh in our early 20s, babes. Like, I don't know, 19, 21, not 74. We don't want none of that wrinkles, babes. Okay? None of that. So normally I use breast powder to set my makeup. I need to a setting powder in my loose. It's just dirty and it's like, it's a lot of work. And that was if you're gonna bring it for traveling it's so bulky and for what right let's not lie to ourselves babes it's like so messy and then you feel like to take off the lid like it flies around ew in 2023 we're gonna do the bare minimum and get the most okay so all we're gonna do is just open it up and then you know how much i love it because it's in shad. that's how much i love it so say you just get a brush set your makeup tapos it's done Kaya siya mag sponge ka pa. And also, oh my god, 2023. This is a different genre. Can we leave sponges in 2022, babes? I'm a brush girly now. Like my foundation and concealer, I use a brush. It's quicker. Fuck sponges. Mm -mm, no. Mm -mm. Brushes is where it's at. Like, I get it, makeup artists. I used to judge y'all because y'all hate us influencers. But you were all right, bitch. Brushes, no sponges. Only puff if you need to retouch. Then the second powder I would recommend, this is the same perfect four pack. I love this powder because I'm shiny right now. I didn't retouch. retouch. It's just a clear powder. It's like white, but it's clear. So if you're oily, I usually use a clear powder. Pang retouch now, shine. Oh, diba? It doesn't mess your makeup. It doesn't add coverage. It doesn't make your makeup cakey. It just removes the shine. Because what we're gonna bring in 2023 is not cakey makeup. Minsan, I also notice people, their makeup looks so good. Bagong apply, okay. But once they have to touch up, it looks like shit. So, I highly recommend this if you wanna retouch na hindi mukhang madumi or pache-pache kasi maraming coverage dito, so walang coverage dito. Use a powder that just removes the shine. So, this is what I would recommend. Super mura lang. Highly recommend this. Tapos, it fits in your purse. Meron din siya setting powder, but I stopped using it because it's messy. See, this is why I prefer compacts. Because they're clean. Think about it. I know I'm a germaphobe in San. Your brush. Gaganyanin mo siya sa setting powder. Tanggalin mo siya. You don't know some of the bacteria got in there. Whereas if you use a puff, if it's dirty, just throw it away and get a new puff. 2023, you don't work hard. You work smart, bitch. Alright, Malcro. So moving on the mat after powders, I have here a sculpting stick. Yes, I rarely contour, but I have here two products that I use for contouring. I only use this if I have a dramatic event that like you need to look snatched. But for the most part, I don't use it. This is the Strokes Face Sculpt in Cinnamon. Maganda na cream bronzer. But if you're looking for the best bronzer in the world ever for me, this is Barrymore Island Heat Wave Powder Bronzer. Best bronzer ever. Not super pigmented. Parang sakto lang, but it's buildable, but it's easy to blend. Hindi siya madumi, it's not muddy. I love it. I don't like contour powders, si mga cool tones, because they look cute on camera. Pero in person, it looks like shit. Use a bronzer, stay away from contours. Unless if you're a model, or unless if you're doing photo shoots, yes, use that. But if your everyday life like you're a normal person I don't know you're a sugar baby or you're just like riding some hot guy engineer's car or something I don't know because that's my life just use a bronzer tama na yung bronzer wag na kayo gumamit ng contour you look cute but you look dirty in real life which 
We don't want that, babe. It's okay. Ako personally, I like my makeup to not look like makeup. Because my pet peeve is me looking like I wear makeup. Gusto ko yung mga compliment ako na, oh, you look so pretty today. That's what you want to hear, babes. I don't want to fucking hear, oh, your makeup looks pretty. What did you use? Shut the fuck up. Parang, I want to look pretty because I'm me, bitch. The makeup is wearing me, not me wearing the fucking makeup. See my point? That's the energy we're bringing, babes, okay? All right, Malcrest. So moving on to the eyebrow products, I have two. This is the lovely Cosmetic Styling Brow Gel. Ang ganda nito. It makes your brows stay up. So I used this din sa festival sa Head in the Clouds. My brows stay up, babe. So, hindi siya gumalaw. Tapos, yung pang kilay ko ngayon, I use Detail Cosmetics. Wala siya dito na sa makeup bag ko. I forgot to put it here. Pero I'll just put a picture. Yung ano nila, Skinny Pencil. It's perfect. For my hair color, I use Latte. It looks light, pero sobrang pigmented niya na it'll tint my brows. It's so skinny. So precise. Tapos sobrang pigmented. That's what I use. So, moving on to eyes. Kinala niyo ako. I rarely wear eyeshadows. Eyeshadows to me is a horror story. I don't know. Every time I meet someone and they have eyeshadow, if you're artistic, if you're editorial, to me, they always look dirty. No matter how precise it is, every time I talk to a person, it's parang like, looking at them closely, I'm like, oh God, I fucking hate eyeshadows. I don't know. You know what I just used? I just used this eyeshadow. This is from Roto. It's literally 100 pesos. And it's so nice. Okay, maganda yung glitters niya. All I just do, I just like yung mga ganitong glitters, yung mga duyan makeup. That's my vibe. The closest I could wear eyeshadow is just a sparkle in my eyes and I'm good. I don't want to look like I tried so hard, you know what I mean? Like, oh, I'm naturally pretty. That's the vibe, babes. That's why I'm so happy na using clean girl makeup because I hate dramatic Instagram makeup. They look dirty. They're cute on photos because God knows they always face tune that shit. But in real life, it looks like shit. Nah. I would highly recommend just use this palette super mura lang niya. you can just like contour your lids it's clean it's better it makes you look more fresh it doesn't make you look cheap it makes you look effortless which that's the vibe i always like is effortless if i were to go dramatic for me this is dramatic na yun, girl. Sino na ako, girl? okay this is blk's intense color liquid eyeshadow this is in the shade clay if i swatch this it's literally brown and then ibiblend ko lang siya ganyan is smoke ko lang siya sa lids and i'm good that's my only eyeshadow who is she i know right Pag Minsan events, ganun ako girl, hindi na ako mag anasis. Contact lens, ganyan, auntie lang. And I'm like, yep, my lashes are cute today. I'm cute. Do I have to do more? No. I just want to look effortless, you know what I mean? My favorite makeup, honestly, or my favorite look always. Alam mo yung mga on-the-go model of duty vibes? That's my aesthetic. I don't want to look like I try too hard. But everyone loves it, that's the vibe I'm going for. Alright, moving on to the next product is lips. Lip liners ng Vice Cosmetics. I have here Kiss Me, pero gusto ko yung Kiss Is It. Hindi ko mahanap eh, pero that's one of my favorite lip liners. Sobrang long lasting, sobrang ganda, I swear. Vice Cosmetics lip liner, they're so affordable. They even have a built-in sharpener. Basta, it doesn't make your lipstick bleed. Alam nyo, I have one request kay Vice Cosmetics pagdating sa lip liner. Can they make a cool tone red? Kasi lately, you guys, I love red lipstick. I know. Minsan ako mapag nag-gym ako, nag-red lipstick pa ako, girl. I don't know why. I just want to look like a slut. I'm in my Taylor Swift red era, babes. I'm always wearing red lipstick and you can't fucking stop me. Moving on to the next lipstick naman, mga curls. Get ready with me, cosmetics. I know, bullet lipstick. You're gonna be like, what the fuck? Bullet lipstick? Are you fucking kidding me? Alam niyo, mga curls, despite this being a bullet lipstick, it lasts long. Especially the red lipstick. Itong main character, sobrang gamit na gamit to sa akin. Girl, this is the best best red lipstick ever. Like, if I go to the gym, I wear red lipstick. Sometimes, I even go out in public wearing red lipstick and I don't care. Like, people will stare at me. I just don't give a shit anymore. Yeah, I want to wear red lipstick and I'm that fucking bitch. Like, I have blonde hair, tan skin, and red fucking lips. If you want to look at me, enjoy the view, bitch. That's my vibe. And sometimes, if I'm on a friendly date, it's like nothing is meant to happen, but the guy is so cute. You just have to subtly seduce the guy. Just wear fucking red lipstick. Like, they'll just stare at your lips the whole day. And they just want to fucking kiss you. And yeah, you can just manipulate him to do anything you want. So, yo, wear red lipstick, babes. This is my favorite. This is you can get ready with me, main character. Sobrang ganda. And by the way, I have a story. I was wearing this. I was wearing red lipstick. Tapos, 
Tapos hindi gumagana yung key fob ko kasi I work out in Anytime Fitness. So hindi siya gumagana yung beep. Turns out, I haven't paid my gym membership kasi naglulok ko yung credit card ko. Tapos meron akong penalty for January. So I was like, hi, I think hindi ako bayad sa January kasi naglulok ko yung card ko kasi hindi gumagana yung key fob ko. So makano na lang yung total ko. Tapos sabi ng guy, he was like, oh, meron, meron pong penalty, yung penalties. Since hindi kayo nakapagbayad, ano, may dagdag na 420. Pero iwa-wave ko na lang po, ma'am, para, ano, para sa inyo, iwa-wave ko na lang. Bayaran nyo na lang ito, 25. So, you know the power of red lipstick and pretty privilege is you get free things and people are nicer to you. You know what I mean? That's like a hard pill that I had to swallow. This red lipstick, you can literally tell a guy to do shit for you and get free shit, you know, because they're fucking stupid. So, yun. Red lipstick all the way. Tapos, my second favorite sa Get Ready With Me Cosmetics, this is Cheesecake Supremacy. Bitch. Oh my god. Wait, I'm actually gonna touch up right now kasi kumain ako mid-filming. <laughs> and by the way, if you guys like this case, cute show, it's a mirror. So, I use this to touch up in sun. Oh, it's so good. This, I don't know. It's creamy, but it's not dry. It's like demi matte, but it lasts long. So weird. Alam niyo mga girls, if hindi lang ako na kamagenta ngayon, I would wear red lips. Like ganon ako addict. I love red lips talaga. Cheesecake supremacy and main character are my two favorite shades. Next to my mga girls, if I'm traveling or if I know it's a wild night talaga, I know hindi ako magretouch throughout the day. Parang inuman, travel, mall, hook up. I don't know. Like he brings you to a buffet and then he's like. Oh, you gotta eat more. And I'm like, oh, yo, no, I'm not a diet. No, I'm trying to get you fat so that no guys will like you. Just wear this. This is a lip tint. This is in the shade Vibin. This is from Happy Skin. The Lip Mallows Plush Matte Tint in Vibin. I love the shade. This is their lightest. Pero ito yung gusto ko. Weird, diba? Then the second lip tint I have, actually, ubus na siya. Tinapon ko. Which I'm like, tanga mo, ba't mo tinapon? Stupid mo. I use Clio yung Do Blur Tint. Tinapon ko siya kasi gano'n ko siya ka gusto na naubos ko na, girl. I started using it noong July and now it's January. It's finished. But I'll show you a clip of me applying it dati. Yun. I really love that lip tint. It's a little bit expensive but oh my god, it makes you look like parang nagpalip tattoo. Sobrang fresh na lips mo na parang pink talaga. Get that. So good talaga. It's expensive but it's worth it. Then the next lipstick I would recommend if you're on a day na talaga na kailangan na lipstick ka pero malalang kainan inuman kailangan lakado talaga. This is Maybelline Superstay Ink Vinyl. This is in the shade Saucy. Ito talaga yung gamit ko talaga dati. Every event, alala ko ito talaga suot ko. You know, because it doesn't move and then like it just stays on your lips. You don't need to bother touching up. Parang alam yun. And also mga kras, can you comment below ano mga magandang cool tone reds? Because I'm just I swear mga kras, can we bring cool tone reds back? Can it be trendy? I'm tired. I want red. I want red lips, bitch. All right, Marco. So lastly, I have here is setting spray. Get ready with me. What the fuck? This is Get Ready With Me's travel size. Ganyan ko siya gamit na gamit. Kasi every time I travel, I use this. My makeup na nag-universal kami sa Singapore stayed on. Kasi HITC, naulanan kami nung si Georgie na dahi. My makeup stayed on. This setting spray is the best setting spray ever. I don't even know. This year, this 2022, I've tried a lot of setting sprays and I just gave up. This is the best. It makes you stay fresh and then it made my makeup stay on. One time I was in a photo shoot which hindi ko siya pwede sabihin. Tapos after the photo shoot I had to take a shower. Girl, hindi pa rin natanggal yung foundation ko, girl. Ito yon. Miss May Layog, she knows what's up, babe. ZZ, they even like stole clips, diba? Like, was there was an issue with that, you know? Yeah, ZZ, what, what the fuck was that? Alam niyo mga curls, personally, ito versus ZZ, mas prefer ko talaga to. This made my makeup stay on talaga. Ang kagandahan din neto, you can even use this as a primer. I just spritz my face, pat, 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 foundation, just you know, doing my makeup, then ito, setting spray. All right, Malker, so moving on to the next products, we have skincare. I know I'm a little struggle here because I really handpicked talaga what I used in 2022 that really worked on me because I tried so much. And then come to think, 2022, I was like fucking depressed. I was stressed, babe. I was sad because my hair was messed up. My life was going south. So I really made sure that these products will work even if you're mentally messed up, okay? So first, we have cleanser. This is from Numbuzin. Yeah, need I say more? Actually, ubus siya. I kept the bottle. Someone dug yot. This is the best cleanser. I'm actually gonna buy this again as I'm filming this because I know you guys are gonna fucking hoard it. I swear, see you in the comment on Numbuzin. Thank you because it's one of the best purchases for getting to skincare. This cleanser, it's like creamy, pero hindi siya nakaka dry. And then when you wash off your face, it takes off all the makeup, all the dirt. Plus, it makes your skin glow. Pero talaga kito sa kuya ko. I was like staring at his skin. I was like, bro, you're glowing. So this cleanser is the best. I'm gonna purchase it. 
it again because it's really a lot of girls. Then the next cleanser I would recommend, this is also again from Nombuzan. Actually, before I buy this, I'm going to buy it because it's also a lot of girls. And it's here too. So this is the All Green pH Balancing Cleanser. This feels so fresh and clean. I really, really love it. If you want to wash off your face or if it's been a long day for you, it gets out all the gunk. And what I noticed with cleansers of Nombuzan, they're not really dry. It doesn't feel soapy. It just feels fresh and makes your skin so soft. Try it. Nombuzan, they're a bit pricey. Their cleansers are affordable though. The serums are just the price, but they are so good. It feels different from other cleansers in the market. Korean skincare, they fucking get it, babes, okay? So moving on to my curls, I have here sunscreen. You guys are going to be freaking disappointed. I know. I only have two. Yeah, babes. I'm only bringing two fucking sunscreens in 2022. I just used these. This is AHC Natural Perfection Fresh Stick. It's it's quick. Sometimes I'm like on the go. And then I just use Ivana Skin. Ivana. I don't even mean you're peerless, babes. Because shit, I just keep talking about Ivana Skin. So when it comes to sunscreen, I know. I just only have two. And lately, I even prefer if I were to buy sunscreen in the future, I'll buy sticks. Because I'm freaking tired of just like doing that all of that, you know? But I don't know, in this 2023, I'm still gonna hoard some sunscreens. Of course, if you have suggestions, nyo, comment down below or you can message me on Instagram if I'm going to try it. I will definitely hoard and I'll let you know which one is good, which one is bad because I was supposed to do a best and worst sunscreen around summertime in 2022. But guess what? Hi, my name is Johnry. I was mentally depressed, so I wasn't able to make it. For 2023, I just cut down what I normally use. Ito lang talaga. If I'm gonna go out, gym, ito lang. Ito lang dalawa. All right, Malcro. So moving on to Serums, because I don't use moisturizer. I'm more of serums ngayon, because they're lightweight and they just feel amazing. They just work. They're more potent compared to a moisturizer to me. First, I have this is Nambuzin Serum Number Six. This is their Deep Sleep Mask. Tapos ito yung Nambuzin Protein 43%. Creamy. Makita niyo sobrang bawas niya. I kept using this. I'm not sure if October ba ako nag-start or July or June. These two together. If you have dry skin or if you're into anti-aging, girl, you need this. This makes my skin so soft. Tapos yung mga lines ko dito. My skin looks so much plumper and so much youthful now than it was earlier 2022 because number one, I was so fucking stressed. Ha ha ha. Love that for me. Number two, the skincare I've been using before is not as effective as these. Para ito kasi, it's kind of expensive but they just work. I swear, if you're into anti-aging or if you're insecure of like fine lines and wrinkles, get this. This is the number two one. It feels so different. It's creamy. Creamy but it's still a serum. How do they do that? Creamy but it's light for skin. Ang hirap niyo explain. You just have to try it, babes. Okay. All right, Malco. So moving on to the next serum I have here. Alam niyo, early 2022, I was more focused in brightening and anti-aging because my skin was dull and then my skin was like it looks aged because it's a stress. For brightening, I use this one. This is Dermo Republic 2% Alpha Arbutinine Cinnamide and Hyaluronic Acid. This is good for brightening. Tapos I also use this one. This is Ever. Belena Bakuchio Lifting Night Serum. These are so good. Like if you want brightening and then anti-aging, it's good. I also use this. Ito talaga gamit na gamit. This is Happy Skin's Oil Drops. This is their Bakuchio Peptide one. Yeah, I've been using her, babe. Ito ang ginagamit ko sa umaga kasi it's oil, pero it's not heavy. Sometimes I skip morning skincare kasi it gets oily throughout the day, but this one doesn't. This is their Hyaluronic B3 Boost Oil Drop Serum and then the Bakuchio Peptide Serum. If you were gonna ask me which one I would pick, pick this. For my age, I just use this. But if you're like below 25, use this. Okay, na rin siya. But for me, I use this. Tira yung bawas niya. I even use this before mag gym. Like yung kaneto, sunscreen, then baby powder. This I'll hit the gym because you know we gotta look cute in the gym. Di pa kaya papawisan kat mga hugger sa gym. Kailangan pumunta ka din dun hugger, de ba? All right. Then moving on, I only have one toner. Just. One. This is the Nambuzin Toner Thermal Water. This freaking brightened my skin. Because there's a papaya extract. Girl, so brown na ka bright siya. Basta kahit hindi ako naka-makeup, even sa gym or mag-workout ako, like a glowing skin ko. Alam niyo parang umiilaw yung skin mo? Yes. Then moving on to the closest thing I have here to a moisturizer. I have here, this is Lux Organics Papaya Gluta Whitening Gel. I know it's whitening, but I use this sometimes sa face and body pag tinatamad ako mag-skincare. Ang dami sa inyo nagsasabi na, oh my god, your morena looks so 
so nice. Your tan looks so glowy. It's so clean. It's giving Latina. Yeah, babes. I'm forced to use whitening products. So essentially bleaching my skin. And I'm yo, wait, look. I always have this. Ako ha. I'm born morena. I can't change that. But sometimes I use whitening products. Why? Number one, wala akong choice. It's part of my job. I have to test products. Number two, I notice as a morena, if you're using whitening products, you're not gonna get white, babes. It's fucking genetics. You're just gonna get glowy. You're just gonna get sun kissed. Sa totoo lang, it's not much, okay? Doing sabon is the bare minimum, okay? It's not like I'm injecting whitening stuff on me. I do use whitening soaps from time to time kasi pinapadala naman ako. Sayang naman din kung hindi ko gagamitin, diba? Might as well use it to have an even skin tone. So yun, that's the tea. I still do use whitening products from time to time if I have to. Alright, Malcolm, so moving on to the next product that I would consider the closest thing that I would consider a moisturizer that I use is the Ceramide Barrier Sealing Cream. This is from Ever Belena. After you do your skincare, lagay mo to. When you wake up in the morning, you wash it, your skin, or you just wake up, sobrang plump and glowing skin mo. Ah, I love this. Especially in January, it's been so dry. I've been using this. Sobrang nag dry and dito ko, and dito ko. And I was like, yeah, babes, I need more moisture, babes. Try this. It'll make a world of a difference, especially if you have lines. Those are dehydrated lines. Of course, Mal Curls, you all know my cult favorite talaga. Pond's Ultimate Youth Essence. I'm bringing her every year and everywhere I travel. Kasi for me, pagdating sa retinol, if you're a beginner sa retinol or if you want to start using retinol since I knew it, babes. Alam nyo, sa totoo lang, napredict ko yan eh, yung retinol shit na yan. Alam mo yun? No one cared about it. Dati, napredict ko yung Sika, napredict ko yung hyaluronic acid, then I predicted retinol. Yeah, babes. You know what's next? Supplements, bitch. Yeah, I'm telling you. Supplements. Fuck skincare. Pagod na kami magpahid. Give us pills. I'm telling you, babes. Skincare pills. Mark my words. It's gonna be the new thing in 2023, babes. If there's effortless makeup, kailangan may effortless skincare. Ganon. Or skincare that's like one serum, everything in one serum. Pons H Miracle Ultimate Youth Essence. Ayun nga, if you're a beginner sa retinol, this is such a good option talaga kasi it has retinol, it has collagen, it has hyaluronic acid, niacinamide, everything's here na eh. If you're on a budget, you don't need to buy everything here. This is enough. This is all you need actually. If it's not part of my job to test skincare or try out skincare that will work or try out skincare in general, I would just keep using this. But I gotta try more. So one of the products that also I've been enjoying, this is a face mask. This is from Saipo. I love this. This is a skin food face mask. My face tends to get red. My redness ako sa mukha. I don't know why. Pero my body's hindi. So sometimes after ko mag gym, I'll just wash my face with water, put this on, tas let it dry, tas maliligo ako. Parang mabandaman siya sa shower. This makes my skin so bright and less red. That's every time pag nagbe-breakout ako, sometimes sa mga chest area ko, my back area, I apply this on my breakouts all over my face sometimes. Then whatever's left sa kamay ko sa bowl, I just put it on my back and my chest, wash it off, clean is girl. Ready ka na mag nude photo shoot charot. Okay yon. So I really enjoyed the Saipo Superfood Face Mask. I really love it. So Saipo, I love this talaga. It's so good. All right, mga girls. So moving on to the last product. One of the products na ang dami nagtatanong, Mama Ho, how the Fuck that you got rid of your dark circles. Number one, stop being depressed. Just kidding. This year, I'll be real with y'all. I only used two eye creams. I dedicated 2022 for only two eye creams. So this is the first eye cream I use. This is the AHC Luminous Glow. Kita niyo siya sobrang piga piga. This is the best eye cream. Need I say more? It's the best eye cream. That's it. I don't need to defend it or like sell it. The fucking best. Try nyo. Then moving on, my curls, I have here, this is the Inky Retinol Eye Cream. I normally use this every Sunday on my retinol days. Pagdating sa retinol, I use good molecules. I can't find it ngayon dito. I tried looking in the bathroom, no wala siya, I don't know why. <laughs> I use this one sa under eyes ko every Sunday. I mag retinol ako. I'll avoid my eye area, I'll avoid my mouth area. But I'll use this on my eye area and my mouth area. Kasi mas hindi siya potent. It really got rid of my dark circles, my fine lines. And mura lang siya, hindi siya mahal. And also, my curls, very important. It works. All right, Malco. So that concludes this video of the best makeup and skincare of 2022. I know I really did my best to narrow everything down because I don't want to recommend a lot of products that are overwhelming. It's all solid. This is like what I'm bringing to 2023, and I want to keep it minimal because this is what I just use. Like I want to keep things simple. You know what I mean? I don't want to overcomplicate things, and then at the end of the day, you still look like shit. So on, I want to keep it simple. I don't want to recommend too much. You're a skincare guru. You recommend a lot of products, but you don't look the part. You know what I mean? I want to keep it simple, auntie lang, but you still look fresh. Like if you look at me now versus a year ago and a year ago, simple is better. All right, my curls. I hope you found this video interesting and helpful. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe down below. Hey, of course, my curls. 
Very important is to sing, she can. Mama. How's it keep? Bye, girl.